Welcome back to Cozy Woman Podcast. My name is Shan, my mother girls. Hey, hashtag Cozy Woman Pod. Check out some more episodes that I did way back. For this episode today, though, we are talking about what makes feeding babies complicated. All right? Get comfortable. If you need some tips on that, if you just want to know, if you were just curious, you didn't want to feel left out of the conversation with moms or dads, <clears throat> I'm going to go through the cost of certain things that you need to be successful in feeding baby, um, things you can do on the lower end that's not so expensive. I feel like when people hear, oh, you have a new baby, they think, oh, you're going to spend a lot of money on a lot of stuff that you're going to need because people sell it and it says it's for babies. Just because people sell things that they say is for babies doesn't mean you necessarily need it. So I'm going to go over the things that you need to be successful in the moments of feeding the baby. Okay? After these messages. I have Cozy Moon merch on Teespring. Hashtag Cozy Womb Shop. You'll find it. I have it posted on my Instagram, Cozy Womb Pod. I also have it posted on my Twitter, Cozy Womb Pod. Go ahead and add me and follow. I also have Mama's Cozy Closet where I created merch just for mamas because we do so much, so we deserve. But don't be sad, dads. On Cozy Womb Shop, I have t-shirts on there something very like seldom daddy because i know y'all don't like to blast oh i'm a dad on my stuff so i have something for everybody i have kids hoodies i have coffee mugs i have mama's little zip pouch bags that keep our discreet items in there so check it out and thank you for supporting the cozy room podcast back to the show we going back to the show Back to the show. Back to the show. Even if you're trying to prepare before the baby gets here, I got you. Even if the baby's already here and you need some stuff, I got you too. It's the stuff and the time you need to feed a baby that makes it successful. All right? So here are some basic things that you'll need to go ahead and be successful at feeding your baby. And I'll go over some costs also. All right, first things first, a baby bottle brush. Just buy one. You could buy it at a dollar store. You could buy it at Walmart. You could buy it at Target. Walmart has tons of them for 99 cents, okay? Baby formula, if you're not breastfeeding. Baby formula, depending on the baby, depending on the issues digestive-wise with the baby, you might go through two or three different formulas before you find one where your baby actually likes it, spits up less, and um, digests properly, okay? Now, formula can run you from $16 a can to $36 a can depending on how sensitive your baby is and how much your baby needs, all right? I know, it's crazy. If you want birth control, just go in the baby section and look at the price of baby formula. It's almost $30 a regular big can or container of baby formula. And they will go through that in about three to four days. Mm -hmm. Now, nursing pads, if you're breastfeeding and your boobs are leaking, can run you from $12 to $30 depending on how much you buy in the pack. Now... If you can't get nursing pads or you out of them and you need them ASAP because your boobs won't start leaking, get you a feminine um, a feminine uh, pad, cut it in half, place one on your bra, and just have your boobs leak in that. It's okay. It's a trick. I learned it. All right. Use your women's pads that are in your drawer at work. Or your friend has some or is in your locker or is in your purse and just cut it in half and put that thing over them nipples all right nipple cream can run you from four dollars to eight dollars realistically all you really need is some vaseline okay it's not gonna harm the baby if the baby has a little vaseline 
off of your nipples in their mouth, okay? Don't put gobs of it on there, but Vaseline to go ahead and lubricate them nipples. Because if your nipples are really dry, they can crack and that can lead to an infection. And you don't want to read up on what that infection looks like, all right? Um, the next thing is a breast pump. You don't have to come out of pocket uh, for a breast pump. Please talk to your insurance, okay? Even if you're getting state insurance, they should be able to cover some type of breast pump from you. For you, I mean. Next thing you want is burp cloths. You need burp cloths. Babies spit up all the time. It's to protect you. It's to protect the baby from getting spit up around their neck. Just get burp cloths. That's about um, $8 for like two or three in a pack. You can find it better prices at like a Ross or a TJ Maxx um, or a Marshalls. A boppy feeding pillow to save your arms, okay? My mom made mine both times, so I didn't have to buy one. But usually they run about um, $20 or more, depending on how fancy you want your boppy pillow. All right, baby bottles. Depending on what brand you want your baby bottle to have, they're getting so fancy with the baby bottles now. It can run you from $16 of a pack of three to $30 plus dollars, depending on how many bottles you're buying, okay? Most of the time, you don't need new bottles. If you already have some, you need new nipples, okay? Uh, bottle drainer, meaning the little device that you have on your sink um, counter that you basically clean the baby's bottles and put the baby's bottles upside down to drain so there's not, you know, water left in them. That's about, um, I think, $10 to $20, depending on where you buy it and how fancy it is. Milk storage bags. If you're breastfeeding and you want to store your milk in the freezer, where they can, I think the, the milk in the freezer can last up to six months. And the milk in the fridge, if you store it in the fridge, can last up to a couple of weeks. The storage bags can run you from $5, depending on how much is in a bag, to $20 a pack. All right? Great, great investment. Trust me. Um, keep some in the car. Keep some in your bag, in the baby bag. And keep a lot in the house. Now, bottle warmers. You don't necessarily need to, need to buy a bottle warmer. You can just get a coffee mug in the kitchen. Um... You could pour some hot water in it and you could put the milk storage bag in it. It won't pop open and just put it in there and it'll warm up a good temperature for the baby. And there you have it. You don't have to buy a bottle warmer that you're never going to use when that baby grows up. Now, bibs. There is a difference between regular bibs and newborn bibs because their necks are smaller. So pay attention. But bibs can run you anywhere from $4 a pack to $16 or more, depending on how fancy it is. Again, these are the best stores to get um, baby stuff from that you need at random at a good price. Ross, TJ Maxx, or Marshalls. Trust me, you cannot fail and you'll find some other cute stuff. Now, if you really want to do a gift for someone that has a new baby, get them some onesies. Um... If the baby was born within the last two months, get anything from zero to three months. If you won't see the baby um, or the baby's, you know, been around for a while, get three to six months. But never get the exact size of what you think the baby is, okay? You don't have to guess. And also, if you know seasons are coming up where it's going to be cold or it's going to be hot soon, or coming up in the next couple of months, you can buy baby stuff forward as long as you know when the baby was born. Use your brain, okay? It's not hard to shop for babies, but people make it hard. And then if it's a boy or a girl and you don't know if they like pink or blue, you could get green, you could get yellow, or you could get grays, okay? Shopping for a baby isn't hard, or you can always get diapers or wipes or a gift card. But that is how I simplify the things you need when it comes to feeding a baby. It doesn't have to be complicated, all right? It does not have to be complicated, but do what you need to do. And moms, if you are breastfeeding, do not skip a day of pumping them boobs or breastfeeding because you would wake up 
with your boobs feeling like bricks. It happened to me before. It's not a good feeling. You either have to put a warm washcloth on the boobs or you have to go take a shower where it's hot water on your boobs to loosen up and release that milk. Thank you for listening to Cozy Room Podcast. Peace.